Humans last set foot on the moon half a century ago. No one has been beyond low Earth orbit since the crew of Apollo 17 returned to Earth in December 1972, but that's about to change. The first mission of NASA's Artemis program is due to blast off from Kennedy Space Center very shortly. In Greek mythology, Artemis was the twin sister of Apollo and the goddess of the moon. If successful, the Artemis program will see astronauts, including a woman, stand on the lunar surface once again, perhaps as early as 2025. Artemis makes use of a giant rocket, the Space Launch System, SLS, 320 feet or nearly 100 meters tall. SLS will have 15% more thrust off the pad than Apollo's Saturn V rockets. Thanks to this extra power, the vehicle will be able eventually to send not only astronauts far beyond Earth, but also much more equipment and cargo than was possible with the Apollo flights. On a visit with my family to Kennedy Space Center in July, I was just able to catch a glimpse of the SLS in the vertical assembly building where its various components have been put together. Since then, it's been rolled out to launch pad 39B, just over four miles from the VAB, using one of two giant crawler transporters at Kennedy, which also carried the Saturn V's and the space shuttles. If all goes well and weather permitting, the maiden launch of the SLS and the first Artemis mission will take place on Monday, the 29th of August. If there's a delay, further launch opportunities are on Friday, the 2nd of September, and on Monday, the 5th. This debut outing is a test flight with no crew aboard. The Orion capsule, which is far more spacious than the cramped Apollo spacecraft, will carry three mannequins fitted with sensors and a series of biological experiments on a month-long journey to lunar orbit and back. The experiments will gather data in order to get a clearer picture of the radiation risks to which astronauts will be exposed on future missions lasting weeks or months. Artemis 1 will also travel further from Earth than any of the Apollo missions did. On its return, it will test if the heat shield on the capsule can survive the heat of re-entry into Earth's atmosphere. The first crewed launch, Artemis II, is scheduled to take place two years from now, in 2024, and the first crewed landing on the moon of the new program in 2025. Beyond that, plans include a new space station called Gateway in lunar orbit, a permanently manned base on the moon, and a crewed mission to Mars.